Okay, so I've never done a live in my kitchen. Oh, I didn't realize how echoey it is, but um, it sounds like it's huge with these echoes. But I wanted to come on board because I got a delivery and I want to talk to you about some of these amazing products. And also I'm going to make a lunchtime shake today. Decided that I'm going to have a double shake day. So as people are coming on board, uh, I'd love to hear from you. If you do have questions or anything for me, or you have anything you want to share, or let me know, go ahead and do that. Uh, and as people are coming on board, thanks for joining. There's Natalie on board. Hi, Natalie. So um, I'm just going to share the delivery that I got today and tell you about some of the products. Uh, plus, I'm going to make you up a shaky. Um, the amount of people that I actually get who ask me about, well, how do you actually make up a shake? Or what do you put in your shakes? Um, it's actually a lot. I would get maybe about two or three of these a week, if not more. Um, so I just thought, you know what, I'm going to show you. And today we're going to do a vanilla one, which is kind of nice. It's about something a little bit different because um, some people don't know what to do with the vanilla. So as people are joining in live, feel free to say, you know, say hi. Yeah, give us a hey. If you have questions, I'll do my best to answer them if I can see them. Also, Happy Dog is here in case you hear noises and he does want me to play the ball with him. Of course, I'm going to ignore that. But I'm going to start by firstly letting you know about my delivery. So I got this delivery. Um, this is the Children's Health Study product. So for those of you who don't know, anybody who purchases our Juice Plus Premium products, which are our fruits, our vegetables, and our berries, can sponsor a child for free. I'm going to show you what those are. So fruits, vegetables, and berries can sponsor a child for free. Um, for up to four years, okay? So up to four years um, between the ages of three and 21, which basically means if you're also sending off your kids to university and you wanna make sure they're getting good nutrition, then you can, you can send them off knowing that they've got this every single day. Isn't that the best gift you can give your kids if they're heading off to university or college? So um, if the parent goes on this, then they can sponsor a child, as I said, for up to four years, as long as the parent's on there. So that's amazing. So Josh actually now, Josh is 12. Because he's 12, he can actually take the capsules. Um, for those that are younger, generally, I think from three to about 10 or 11, they give you a gummy, which I don't have any on me now, because Josh takes the capsules. Um, and it's like a wine gum. It's like a, like a sweetie almost. Um, and it tastes amazing. I mean, if anything, the kids eat too many of them. So you have to kind of ration them out. They just love the taste of them. But those contain the 17 fruits and vegetable powders as well. So amazing, right? Okay, so I'm gonna get started with this shake. If you do have questions on the way, specifically about, because I know that a lot of people have been asking me about my magic beans, of which these are they, do ask them. Um, in terms of all, all they are, are fruits, vegetables, and berries encapsulated into a capsule. They're 100% vegan. Um, they are farm fresh, straight from the farm. They are juiced and blended together. The, the majority of the sugar and the salt and the water are taken out and the fiber is added back in and that's what you get. So it's not isolated multivitamins. It is fruits, veg and berries in a capsulated form. It's basically dehydrated fruits, veg and berries. Oh, hello, Patty's on too. So basically, um, People say, well, what does it help you with? Are you somebody who struggles to get up in the morning to have energy throughout the day? Do you slump down at three o'clock in the afternoon? Do you have difficulties running around after the kids? Do you uh, find that your hair is getting quite brittle? Maybe you have, uh, in terms of your skin, isn't as, as glowing as you would like it. Um, all of these sorts of things for your nails, for your skin. Bear with me one second. Oh. Dogs jumping up on the table. I mean, what's going on? So, um, hair, skin, and nails. Um, a lot of people who come, we make no medical claims, of course, but a lot of uh, people with conditions in terms of IBS, fibromyalgia, we've had a lot of ladies with other Crohn's disease, with other um, conditions that have difficulty consuming and digesting food. And because this is dehydrated and it goes into, straight into their system, it's 100% bioavailable, which means that it goes into your system and nothing is peed out. Do you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, and it works on a cellular level. So although, you know, in terms of results, in terms of people feeling good, it might take different times for them to feel better, but they, um, but you know, some people feel good in, in, in a week, some people feel good in a couple of weeks, some people take a month or two because it's working on the cellular level first, if that makes sense. Um, and 
how I know that it definitely works is I've had many, in the last 10 years, I've been taking these products for 10 years. In those 10 years, I've had blood tests, I've had um, other uh, health related tests in terms of immune systems, etc., etc., and I've all hit the highest markers with antioxidants in my blood, etc. We have a few ladies in our, in our sisterhood who are currently going through like having to get blood tests because they were really either really anemic or they were really, again, some, uh, some digestive issues, etc. And their doctor is saying, well, whatever you're doing, keep doing it because it is working really well. So I'm gonna now make it a shaky. Do you wanna see? So what we're gonna do today is make, uh, I'm gonna use the Juice Plus Vanilla Complete. It's got nearly 20 grams of plant-based protein. It's 100% plant-based. Um, it, it also contains some slow-release carbohydrates. It's got the uh, 17 fruits and veg powders in it and also a, a, a mineral and vitamin blend. So it's got extra B12, which is amazing. I am going to mix this with almond milk and keep it plant-based, of course. Um, I use almond milk. Almond milk is not for everybody. If you are somebody who loves your dairy, I encourage you to not love your dairy. I will post lots of information to you about why dairy is not helping you if you're looking for fat loss, body shape change, if you're hormonal, Ladies who come to me who are perimenopausal, get rid of the dairy, ladies, really important. In fact, uh, ladies who are perimenopausal need, need to reduce dairy and increase fiber, and that's why this is such an amazing product, which is good as a replacement for both breakfast and or lunch, or um, post-workouts, really good as well. Okay, and also what I'm going to add in today, I add, got this the other day because I like to boost my protein. If you have been following recently, we've been doing a five-day Prudy challenge. A Prudy is a protein smoothie. Um, it is a goal for you to try to reach 30 grams of protein upon waking. So within the first hour of waking up, this will kickstart your metabolism. It will also stave off any hunger and carby, sugary kind of cravings until lunchtime. And also a high-protein diet is known to really help to increase basically your metabolism because you know, the thermic effect of protein um, will help you to shed those pounds but also stop you from eating crap because you're fuller with uh, using proteins and healthy fats which this contains too. So this one's got uh, omega-3s, it's got calcium, it's got vitamin E. Um, I went with the one that had lots of seeds because I'm again because I'm plant-based I like lots of seeds and goji berries because goji berries are full of packed full of antioxidants as well and you can have it any time of day so we're going to have one of those um, also I'm going to add peanut butter so if you're somebody who I'm not a great peanut butter person um, I eat a lot of peanut butter <laughs> but um, really it's, it's a it's a delicate balance for me because some people actually are sensitive to peanut butter um, you'll notice it because you've become a bit more bloated or a bit more ugh. So just keep an eye on that for you. Um, you can switch it to almond butter or you can even switch it to a cashew butter. That said, peanuts and almonds are the highest protein. Um, so if you're going to consume it, those would be the two that I would recommend. But just see how you feel. I'm okay sometimes with peanuts and sometimes not. At the moment, I'm doing a good thing because I'm probably because of the, the juice plus and also probiotics that I take. I'm okay with protein. Uh, peanut butter. This one, just so I'll show you, is just from Tesco, okay? Um, peanut butter can get really expensive and because we eat so much of this, I would go through two of these a week, sometimes three, depending on what, uh, on my low carb days, etc. And I do love to live off peanut butter and I generally stick it in most smoothies. It gives it also that sweetness. This one's a good quality peanut butter. You need to, in order to check if it's a good quality one, go round to the ingredients and look for it. And all it should say in the ingredients are peanuts. Guess what this one says? Ingredients. Peanuts. So that's all you want in your peanut butter. You don't want palm oil. You don't want sugar. You don't want any of those things. Generally, the cheaper the butter, the better the butter. But this one is £1.50 in Tesco. Can't beat that with a big stick. It also comes in a crunchy. Josh prefers the crunchy. I prefer the smooth. So, and then we're just going to add a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon's actually a really great blood sugar stabilizer. It's better than, um, it gives, can give you that sense of sweetness. But cinnamon in itself, some people would take cinnamon as a supplement. Um, but cinnamon is really good for stabilizing your blood sugar. And also just to give something an extra little bit of taste. Does that make sense? So, I'm going to make up the shaky. So I'm going to do it with my Nutribullet today. So how much milk? That's what people ask. So again, this is a preference thing. When you first start making up your shakes, you'll find that you have a preference in terms of the consistency. So for me, I like it not too runny. 
okay? So I like it, and that for me is about, I'm gonna guess that's about between 200 and 250 mils. I'm generally very good at eyeballing, but you might wanna play with that. You might wanna add more water, and have a water milk mix. Um, you can just mix these up with, with water. We have a few clients who don't necessarily like the texture of milk. I totally understand. So you can mix it up 100% with water. You can also get really fancy and add coconut water in there, um, and you can also add ice. I'm not adding ice because I don't got none. So uh, next next step is to add the juice plus complete. So how much complete do you add? So this is our vanilla. It's called French vanilla. And you want to add a full scoop. Can you see there? Yeah, okay. Full scoop in. And it's important that you go for the full scoop because that's going to get you the 20 grams of protein, okay? We want to keep you from being hungry. The whole idea of having this is that, it, yes, can be a meal replacement, but it needs to be a meal replacement that you feel full, so that you're not gonna be snacking 10 minutes later. So you need the full 20 grams of protein to do that. And this is also why I continue to add extra things. Let me get a spoon. Um, I add extra um, things like the flax seeds, which are gonna give me the essential fatty acids. It also tastes nice too. So if I can get it open, I feel like I'm battling it today. Now I just got a teaspoon out there, but you could, ideally you want to go for um, 30 grams. So humped teaspoon is close to 10. So I'm going to put in three big humped teaspoons. Da, 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 and that's how much I'm going to put in. So you want to aim for 30 grams. 30 grams will give you, and I'm going to have a look here at the back here, seven grams of protein. It's going to give you 13 grams of healthy fat, which is amazing. And then it's going to talk to you about things like you know, giving you iron, zinc, your magnesium, vitamin E, all that sort of stuff too, which is great. All right, so what else we got? Uh, peanut butter, you ready? Peanut butter, peanut butter. Okay, so again with peanut butter, be generous. Okay, I'm gonna go for two gigantic, gigantic teaspoons. Like, look at that, look at that, you see? Big, lovely, generous ones. Again, why are you being so generous? This is to keep you from being hungry. So all this is is peanuts, buttered up, this is it. So it's just like you eating nuts. Some people say nuts are full of fat. I know, I'm gonna eat this. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Wouldn't wanna let it get to waste, but that said, now I'm gonna have that tongue on the roof of the mouth thing. Mm. Okay. So people say to me, peanut butter is full of fat, right? I'm gonna get some water, two seconds. <laughs> Yes, peanut butter is full of fat. And that's why we love it. We want healthy, healthy fats, ladies. Fats do not make you fat. It's sugar that makes you fat. Processed carbohydrates, um, bad carbohydrates, um, sugar. Anything sugary, processed, bad carbohydrates, those are the things that make you fat. Healthy fats from peanut butter, from like eggs, oily fish, nuts, seeds, avocados, Yes, you do need to um, watch your you know, portion control of these, but don't leave them out of your diet, okay? So there's on, low, on our lower carb days when we do our seven day carb cycle, which is the, the program that I follow with my uh, Warrior Goddess body and my clients online, they would have two low carb days a week and you would have a lot of fat that you can consume. So you can have a full avocado there, you could have, um, uh, full avocado on those days, you would have you know four, five, six eggs quite easily on those days. So it is about focusing on proteins and healthy fats on those days. Okay, so where are we at? So the other thing I have here is a banana. I was going to put a little bit of banana. So this is where people go to me, geez, Lisa, that's not a lot of banana, okay? It's not a lot of banana. But I don't put a lot of banana in, I only do it just for a little bit, okay, for a little bit of taste. Um, but don't put a full banana into your smoothies. The reason why is that you don't need it, okay? People think, oh, I'll put a full banana in, it's good. Bananas are great, but bananas are full of uh, natural occurring sugars, but full of fructose, which is good for the body because it also comes with magnesium and potassium and all these wonderful things. But it is nearly 120 calories. It's about, I don't know off the top of my head, 18 grams of carbohydrates, and it's not necessary to have that. So I'm not saying never have a banana. Enjoy your bananas. Bananas are great for post-workout. Uh, but again, I rarely would sit and eat a whole banana. I would maybe get a banana, 
use a little bit of it in a smoothie or a little bit um, maybe even on some rye bread, toast, etc. with a bit of peanut butter for pre or post workout sometimes. But I would never eat a full banana and I would generally freeze the rest of it. And then you've got frozen banana. Frozen banana is amazing in smoothies. I didn't freeze one because I had some from today. So um, that's us today. So, and then a sprinkle, just a sprinkle bop, 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 of cinnamon. Okie dokie. So I'm gonna stick this into our Nutribullet. So the other question I get asked is what, what blenders do you recommend? So I have two blenders. I tidied it away because I wanted you to see a tidy kitchen today. But I tidied it away. So normally I have a Nutribullet. So Nutribullet I use for when I'm at home uh, and I'm not gonna go anywhere. And the reason is, is that this cup is ridiculous for trying to fit into cup holders in your car, etc. So, but a Nutribullet is better if you're grounding nuts, if you're grounding frozen things, if you are, you can also make up sauces and stuff. It's not ideal to put hot things in it, but sometimes I do if it's under blending it really quickly. I make my guacamole and stuff in the Nutribullet. So it's more versatile and it's a faster, you know, more efficient blade. Uh, the other one that I have, I'll grab it here, is the Breville Active Blend that comes with its own shaker that you put in and that you zizz. And then the shaker is perfectly sized to fit into cup holders. So this would be more of the blender on the go. Also, this one's 20 pounds, that one's 100 pounds. So again, it depends on your budget. This does really good for blending ice and stuff and frozen fruit too. Um, and it's just more versatile. I have one of these also in the studio so I can go between the two to make you know smoothies and to take things home, etc. Um, and yeah, they work really well. And I would recommend this one for starting out, but that one if you're gonna get a little bit more serious with making up things. You can also ground your own nuts to make like almond meal, or you can make your own nut butters, which I have done previously. All right, shall we get blending? I feel like I'm on one of these demonstration shows. So let's, let's get blending. So I hope I've seen on there. I think I saw Natalie come on, there's Jim on as well. I have to give you a shout out. So I'm gonna just blend it, it's gonna get a bit loud. Dog might need to bark, here we go. <laughs> So this is still quite runny, so I'm so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna check the taste of it also. Mmm, that's a good, good consistency, good taste. And then just because I'm being posh these days, I'm gonna stick it in more of a presentation. Mug. Lovely. Alright, I'll put these over there. And that's it. You can just add a little lid and a little straw. Again, people ask me where I get these. Being in bargains, ladies and gents, being in bargains. So this is me. This is me for my lunch. So this will do me for my lunch. It also does a uh, really good pre-workout um, and post-workout. It just depends on what program you're following. It depends on what calories you've got for the day. But I like to add more into it so that it actually becomes a full meal and it's gonna keep me going. So I don't always do double shakes in a day. Um, if I'm busy, if I'm running around, if I've got a lot on, which I do today, I thought I'd also just t t record this for you. So that's when I would do double shakes. It also works on days where I'm literally not going to be able to heat something up or bring something with me. And because I've got the blender in the studio, I would just um, blend it. I would take the, the, the smoothie with like, the stuff in it, if that makes sense, and then blend it when I get there. Um, yeah, and it's just really, really versatile and very nutritious. So you're hitting all of your nutrition with this smoothie, not to mention it tastes really good. So in conjunction with these bad boys here, see Amy on, see Amy on, you must welcome. So in conjunction with those, I know that I've hit all my nutrition for the day. So even somebody, so people say to me, Lisa, but do you, you don't eat really healthy or you're not plant-based. You know, um, I'm, I'm currently a gluten-free vegetarian who's dairy-free as well. Um, so I'm dairy-free and gluten-free vegetarian. I still eat eggs. Um, people say, well, why do you need to take these things if you're already healthy? Because sometimes my healthy diet is not enough. It's not enough. You know, even um, I go to my friend's house who she grows her own vegetables 
um, and you know I would ask her have you had seven to nine portions of fruits and veg today and we love to eat raw veg I ate munch too and I ate carrots and I ate lettuce and I ate all of these things just out of the packet half the time because I just enjoy eating like live and raw food but there's some days where I just don't some days that I know that I'm definitely not getting five portions of which the five to seven portions are really what they're saying now it should be seven to nine portions of fruits and veg um, a lot of them would have been fruit for most people for you know they generally say it should be green leafy veg so you're talking spinach you're talking kale swiss chard all of those things uh, which is in our vegetable blend we have our kale we have our broccoli we have um uh what else do we have cabbage that's the other one i was thinking of so they're all in there but when was the last time you had kale i mean i would have kale quite regularly because i put them in my smoothies but you know quite regularly still like every third day or every fourth day i'm definitely not consuming them every day and with the nature of how our lives are right now the the busyness of our lives the stress the pollution the medications we're taking flights that we're taking all of these things are causing even exercise are causing free radical damage in our bodies. This free radical damage is linked to degenerative diseases like, you know, uh, heart attacks, cancer, stroke, um, you know, coronary issues generally, all of those ones that are basically the, the, the most common for early and premature deaths of females. So I wanna stack the cards in my favor. And that's what I do. I just stack the cards in my favor. So I stack my cards every day in favor. This is my health insurance policy. I want a health insurance policy, not a death insurance policy or an illness insurance policy. I want to make sure I stay healthy rather than have to deal with the consequences of, of not being healthy and not choosing this. So if you are interested to find out more, you know, hit me up. Uh, as Josh would say, slide into my DMs. I think that sounds wrong hanging out with a 12 year old um uh, and just I'm, I'm happy to have a chat with you we can have a little chat i am going to be doing a nutrition workshop in my studio in a couple of weeks which i'm opening up um which will be talking about everything that i talk about body shape change um uh, nutrition how to stack the cards in your favor when to use resources and tools like this you know, uh, sometimes you need to figure out what will work for you based on your goals and what's going on for you. But thank you so much for watching live. If you like this, if you think somebody needed to hear this today, go ahead. Shares are greatly appreciated. I would love to connect with more people. This is my mission. This is my goal. Our sisterhood is growing. Our mission is growing. And I'd love you to be a part of any of that. So do reach out. And if you can share, it'd be most appreciated. And other than that, have a wonderful day and I look forward to connecting with you all soon. Peace out.